I definitely I gotta I gotta slip his uh, punches. I, I have to make him respect my punches. Um, you know, I have to uh, you know after be mixing up mixing up different things. It's a mixed martial arts fight. After be mixing up takedowns, I you know I have to bring I have to bring everything into this. And uh, you know he's he's a he's a hard puzzle to figure out. But uh, we're prepared. We're ready for the for the task. I got good people training with me. They're gonna push me regardless of how I feel. It's more of a discouraging thing than a demotivating feeling. You know. Like, uh, it's just not the fight I would have picked is all, you know. You know, hey, because I don't, I don't try to fight my friends or people I know, or, you know. So uh, I just do what I'm told, you know. But um, we got a really good uh, coach and a really good team, and um, I didn't get this far by uh, not listening. So. Well, you know, really, it's it's a lot of mental notes. Like, uh, watch out for his right hand. He's accurate as hell with it. You know, I think he's like second in accuracy amongst UFC guys. Um, you know, and I think that's a I think that's a, a note to self to be be wary of it. You know, when he gets he's most dangerous when he's getting backed up also. Um, and uh, I, have a ten, I have a tendency to be highly aggressive, uh, especially when I see an opening to go ahead and take it. So you know, just kind of pay attention to it, make sure I know what I'm doing, make sure that uh, I keep it as um, as favorable for me on one side. And the thing I can say today is uh, I'm here, so uh, I can make the fight, you know, uh, totally uh, in complete shape. So I think I'm gonna let talking uh, my body. As an athlete, it's always a special fight. Uh, anytime you can fight a legend and just say you can fight the best in the world, um, that's the one thing that you always take the opportunity for. Go, hey, I fought the best in the world. That's one thing as an athlete, as myself, as a senior competitor. It's always a one versus some like you know other fighters where it's just like hey I just need to get a W I don't care who I fight I don't care if he actually sucks I just want to you know W for me I just want to fight the best in the world and Mirko's one of the guys that I'm always you know held up there as one of the guys that do I that's the one fight. Biggest motivation is uh, besides spinning bonus. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good no, one. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I lost two fights in a row and I just. I would hate that if it happens that I lost the fight, I would be the happiest man on the planet, believe me. After so many trainings, traveling, uh, fights, you know, to lose, to lose three times in a row, it would be a disaster for me. But I will survive, even that, even if it happened, I will survive. I have two kids I have to live for them, you know, but uh, it would be a dis disaster. That's why I train really hard and I will do my best to beat him, really. Craziest stoppages I have ever seen!